good day to Professor Azman, Dr. Maria and my fellow friends. So me, Hariwala again, with the matrix number of A172377, would like to talk about image quality in digital radiography. Before I explain even more further about the image quality, I would like to introduce and define the terms in radiography testing, and that is non-destructive testing. So that we can see that in this NDT that uses radiation source that will pass by material, just like in the image I show, uh, the radiation source, especially sometimes X-ray and could be gamma ray, will pass by the material, and this is the welding spot, and it will uh, it will pass by and absorbed by the film are uh, at the beneath of the material and this uh, radiation will make a darker spot and thus together make a contrasting image on the film and this is how we identify whether there is defect or not. Radiography or in NDT is known as RT as a few techniques under its sleeves. So one is called the single wall technique. So single wall technique and then there's a double wall technique and under it there's a uh, different more uh, techniques so we will look at it right now okay so this is radiography single wall single image so there's a radiation source at outside and there's a film at underneath and it's the most simplest form there is this is a technique called double wall single image so to a double wall there's no offset and this offset angle will make sure they get the welding spot of under underneath of the weld spot so this is very useful especially in tube where you want to know the underneath side and not the top side and where there's restriction of angles this is a double wall double image and this is very simple where it has an offset and both of the well spot of top and below can be recorded in one single film and last of all double wall superimposing technique so superimposing is just an overlay of both defect on one film there are two main types of RT so there's the film radiography and also digital radiography so film radiography is a photographic film exposed uh, to radiation transmitted through an item that being inspected so this will form a latent image and latent image is not image that is visible towards our eyes but it has to go through a chemical process so that it become an visible image of defects and the digital just use a digital replace detector that replaces the film which convert all this latent image all in digital directly on the computer so you guys can see it and uh, as a live image so for right now i'm going to use a test specimen of a 10 inch steel pipe csh80 so this material is a steel pipe and the dimension is a 10 inch which is also known as 254 millimeter at the outer diameter with a thickness of 15.09 millimeter and this is very typical use in oil and gas piping so before i go deeply i would like to explain more specifically about film radiography so film radiography is when they use film as a detector and this will form latent image and this latent image is invisible until it goes through a dark room chemical process to get a visible image that is able to be uh, visually checked by the inspectors so uh, below here uh, below here we can see this is the film so film is just basically a base a base made of polyester emulsion emulsion usually made of silver bromide or silver iodide or anything like that and also a uh, protective layer on top and bottom so how it works is that uh, the radiation will leave a mark on the emulsion layer which is all with the adhesive layer towards the base so this is uh, usually one film and you can see the base is the thickest part where the emulsion is the uh, thinnest part and also the uh, overcoat layer is the thinnest with one micron usually so this is the two image of exemplary on all the use film radiography and you guys can see on the left uh, this yellow tube is actually the radiation source uh, which they already installed earlier and make it fixed on a position before they start cranking the radiation source towards the material and they use uh, as you guys can see the silver plates 
underneath the silver plates are actually uh, the film and the silver is just to prevent the radiation to pass through it it most probably made from platinum and so that is how they made it and after that they go to a dark room process and on the right you can see the image uh, have to shine through a light and they can see clearly on what's inside the material or the defects in the material and now we go to the main part which is called the digital radiography which uses a digital detector a detector that able to absorb radiation and it can change it to an electronic electrical signal which then it goes towards a capture device and store it in your computer directly so in this case uh this is an example of a drc2430 ndt it's a flat panel detector and it is uh, very portable so you can bring this anywhere and it will detect the radiation passing through it so this is a very portable solution Hello. So this is a setup of um, an all-in-one setup where you can see the radiation source is here and the detector is here and there's a wireless uh, computer, it's usually a tablet, a rugged tablet that is connected to the system wirelessly. So as you can see in the image, uh, the person in the brown shirt is trying to scan through the pipe where the person in the blue shirt can just record the data and look towards the pipe. So this is a very portable and a very fast solution in radiography so how does it work so it works very simply so on the top layer they got the amorphous selenium so this is uh, the direct detectors so they can detect this photodiodes can detect x-ray and it converts directly to light or electrical charges so in this case it converts towards electrical charges so these electrical charges will touch the tft array so tft is the thin film transistor so transistor act as if a switch so what happens is when the electrical signal touches the tft it goes as a pixel pixel redot toward the device or the computer board first so with this technology it can change the analog or the visual view of the light into a digital signal and then it goes to an output towards the computer or the wireless device so now we would like to talk about image quality in digital radiographic technique so in rt it's a little bit more different than film because this is a very computer based system so to get a quality and a good contrast and high definition usually the computer will able to do uh, most of the work but expertise to fine-tune the setting is needed so in this case uh, we use signal noise to ratio so signal noise ratio can detect how much radiation and prevent extra noise so this will affect uh, this will prevent the scattering effect or the background disturbance effect and this will increase the image resolution without increasing the noise then Parameter adjustment. So parameters are important to be adjusted. Uh, in this case, uh, maybe the distance of the detector, the time of exposure, which is uh, very automatic in this uh, computer system usually. Laser spot size. So there's a focus spot for the radiation, and as the smaller one produces higher resolution, but it requires more time, and the bigger one produces higher contrast. So I will give the exemplary image in the next slide. Pixel size, so again, it's almost same like laser spot. Pixel size, a uh, smaller one is higher defined, but it uh, requires more time to uh, exposure. And this is uh, important to find an optimum level because you cannot over exposure as well. So the computer software able to find a proper time of optimum and while the expert might fine tune it even more. And finally, there's a tube voltage. Uh, photo multi uh, multiple voltage is important because they change the light into the electrical signal so if the voltage is too high uh, everything will increase contrast will increase and also the image quality but at the same time the noise will increase too much so in this case uh, if the noise are too much the image quality drop back uh, so that must be optimum level to find high contrast but very low noise so this is something maybe the expert will fine tune afterwards so like the test specimen we were using a steel pipe of 10 inch so this is the example so uh, on the right side 
uh, this is the example of the wetting spot we can see higher SNR filter uh, and this is a lower SNR filter and image B as a higher filter making it a better image because the uh, SNR able to prevent all the scattering effect and prevent uh, all the noises and you can see it more clearly especially right now we can see there's a crack in the well so thank you to SNR filter it's more clearly we can see where different scar crack and we can specifically precisely measure the size as well on the another side image this is the image quality test where they use uh, IQI uh, to see the difference in the image quality so we can see that um, that on the image above it is underexposed so when this underexposed uh, the quality I mean the resolution is lower while the image below is higher uh, a better exposure and prevent makes it a better image so usually this is made automatically by the system but the expert also, also can uh, adjust the timing and also the most specific about it so this is a good quality of a uh, pipeline specimen as a high quality digital image because it can be seen clearly so Right now, I will do the comparison between DR and FR. So, DR is a term uh, referred to the digital radiography as FR to film radiography. So, this is a general comparison where development time is slow in film radiography. Uh, in digital, it is immediate or near immediate just to computer processing time, which is just seconds. Detector medium is film and for digital radiography is a digital detector. The equipment cost is cheaper in film but uh, in digital because of the digital detector and the computer units and everything we have for an higher cost. Environmental uh, chemical disposal is needed for film radiography as it need to throw away the chemical the film. Where in digital radiography there is none except maybe electricity usage but that is a very minimal uh, environmental usage. So uh, besides that, there's a portability where film radiography is known to be portable because the film is separate, the uh, radiation source is separate and all those lah. Uh, but in digital radiography, it has to depend on the model. Certain models are meant to be fixed and certain models are meant to move. But most models are semi-portable in some situation. Okay, now it's the comparison in image production. So in image quality, Film is less sensitive and digital is more sensitive and this is because of those things that I explained before like signal to noise ratio the uh, for, uh, the increase of uh, photomotic uh, voltage and all this makes digital more sensitive towards uh, radiation such as scatter so they can detect scattering effect more easier so control unwanted uh, radiation this is uh, well for for digital because like I just explained they got more uh, they got more software and also hardware that helps them to prevent uh, noise where film is very manual so it has to depend on the professional to able to it, to set the parameters as good as possible but yet uh, scatters a uh, reduction are uh, other image enhancement okay in film there's no image enhancement afterwards because once you already set the exposure time and everything it's it's fully locked then uh, you have to redo it if it's not happy uh, and can be adjusted via software so via the software you can see this as live image and you can see and you can change you can tune it up until you get to your perfect app, uh, perfect and satisfaction uh, requirement uh, film require darkroom and better digital radiography just need the software and the software algorithm which is uh, everything prepared with the device itself so now comparison for optimization so use of proper energy so manually must prevent under and over exposure so this uh, up to the expert to prevent under and over exposure where digital the software automatically controls everything of the exposure time uh, and this makes it very more efficient in setting up other optimization in film radiography is very minimal where in digital radiography there's a depth of field that we can adjust so this will produce a 3d imaginary uh, and also there's a shield detector system which prevents scatter and also the background effect 
So right now, I'm going to do a comparison in safety environment specifically. So in film radiography, in terms of radiation, uh, experts are the one have to ensure there's the right amount of exposure, but not too much, which is not safe. Digital is a, is a software that can detect the exact amount of exposure. So in this case, the issue of overexposure is solved and also it is even more safer as the software able to find the right uh, amount and even more the expert are able to fine tune even more later on. in terms of chemical uh, digital radiography has zero chemical process involved but film radiography has chemical needed to be controlled because in the chemical process such as darkroom use that is chemical substance that need to be disposed so this is not good for the environment all right Thank you so much and that's all from me.